Happy World Storytelling Day! I'm making another video in English because tonight I'm testing Facebook Live for storytelling, but that is going to be in Hungarian. So I wanted to make a recording in English for my friends and followers who don't speak Hungarian. And today I want to tell you about mouse deer. Uh, mouse deer lives in Indonesia um, and uh, he's a very strange little creature. It looks like this. Uh, and is about the same size. He's not very big, he's not very strong, but there are a lot of stories about mouse deer because mouse deer is very clever and very fast and knows how to get out of trouble when he gets into trouble, which is an important skill to have when everybody's trying to eat you. So here is one of my favorite mouse deer stories and I think it's a story that is very important in these days. One day, Mouse Deer was walking around, going about his daily business, and he decided to cut through a sugarcane field. And as he was jogging through the sugarcane field, he tripped over something, and the little voice yelled, Hey, watch where you're going! Mouse Deer looked around and looked down, and there right in front of him was tiny Mrs. Owl. Mrs. Owl, I didn't see you there. Look at your beautiful brown feathers. You just melt into the background. Yes, mouse deer, that's kind of the point. I'm sitting on my nest. I'm sitting on my eggs right now. It's very important that I protect them. So please watch where you're going next time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mrs. Owl. I, I really didn't know that you had your nest on the ground. Well, well, I do. And this is a very nice and secure place here in the middle of the sugar cane field. And I'm going to stay here until my little ones learn how to fly. Well, that's great. Good day to you, Mrs. Owl, and Conchia, Mouse Deer, was about to walk away when he heard a noise. And his little ears perked up, and he looked around, and he followed the noise, and he poked his little head out of the sugarcane field and looked, and what he saw scared him, and he turned around, and as fast as his little legs could carry him, he ran all the way back to Mrs. Owl. Mrs. L, Mrs. L, the people are coming. They are coming with, with knives and machetes and they are going to cut down the sugarcane field. And if they find you, they are going to break your eggs and they are going to catch you and eat you. You have to run. But, but, but I can't run. I, what, what about my eggs? I have my eggs right here in my nest and people are going to break them if I don't protect them. What should I do, mouse dear? Please help me. Well, well, I don't know. You have, to, you have to leave your eggs. You have to fly. You have to save yourself. The people are going to be here. They are going to cut down on the sugar cane. They are going to find you for sure. But I can't leave my eggs. They're, my little ones are in my eggs and I can already hear them knocking. I have to wait until they hatch. Very well then, said Mouse Deer. Um, maybe, I can, maybe I can figure something out. Just stay here and, and, and be safe. Don't go anywhere. So Mouse Deer ran out to the edge of the sugar, sugar cane field again. And he poked his little head out and looked around. And just as people were getting ready to start the harvest, he shot out of the field and he started running in circles. And somebody else, look, look, a mouse deer, let's catch it. I'm going to eat it tonight. And the other one said, no, 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 I'm going to catch it. I'm going to take it home as a pet for my children. And all of them threw down their tools and they started chasing Conchil around the sugar cane field. And one of them tried to get him from this side, and the other one tried to jump on him from that side. But as I told you before, Mouse Deer is very fast. And he zigzagged, and he ran, and he took turns, and he ran into bushes, and under bushes, and into the field, and out of the field. And people kept chasing him until noon. And then Mouse Deer ran back into the sugar cane field to catch his breath. And people sat down in the shadows, and they said, well... Might as well have lunch. And we are going to start the harvest in the afternoon. So they had their lunch. They ate in the shade of the trees and whew, Mouse Deer took a nap in the sugarcane field. But when lunchtime was over, he poked his little head out again and he saw that people were picking the tools up and they were getting ready to harvest the sugarcane. So Kunchil took a deep breath he ran out of the field and he started running in circles again. Look, 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 there's the mouse deer, there's the mouse deer. Catch it, catch it, catch it. And people started chasing him around the sugarcane field and into the bushes and through the forest. And they threw down their tools and they forgot about the harvest. And they kept chasing mouse deer until the evening. 
And then Mouse Deer ran back into the field and disappeared. And people looked at each other disappointed and they said, well, we're going to have to do the harvest tomorrow. They picked up their tools and they went home. Mouse Deer went back to Mrs. Owl. Mrs. Owl, Mrs. Owl, the people left. You're safe for the night. Oh, look, you're hatchlings. The little owlets hatched out of the eggs over the course of that day. And Mrs. Owl was sitting with her wings wrapped around them and she was very proud. She said, look, look at how beautiful they are, my little ones. Thank you, Mouse Deer, so much for helping us. Well, you're very welcome, Mrs. Owl, but now you have to go. All of you have to go. You have to leave the field. People will be back tomorrow to harvest the sugar cane. You have to go back to the forest and find a safer, safer place. But, but, but Mouse Deer, my little ones can't fly yet. It's going to take them nine or ten days before they, they are strong enough to fly. I can't go anywhere. I have to protect them. We have to stay right here in the nest. Ten days! What am I going to do to help you for ten days? Please, Mouse Deer, please do something. I can't leave my little ones here. <sighs> Mouse Deer went home to his wife. He told her the whole story. He said, I don't know. I don't know if I have the strength. I don't know if I'm clever enough to keep people from harvesting for 10 whole days. I should have never offered my help to begin with. What am I going to do? Who am I? I'm this tiny little creature. I mean, look at me. Look at how tiny I am. How am I going to keep people at bay for 10 whole days? Mouser's wife looked at him and she smiled and she said, well, if you just did this to prove that you are clever and fast, you shouldn't have done it in the first place. Everybody knows you're clever and fast. But if you did it to help Mrs. Ow, to really help her, then you will have to do it again and you will have to figure it out. <sighs> well, I guess I'm going to have to figure it out. And Mouse Deer, the next day, early in the morning, went back to the sugarcane field. And once again, when people appeared, he shut out of the field and started zigzagging and running in circles and bouncing around. And people dropped their tools and they started chasing the mouse deer. And they did that all day long. And mouse deer, by the evening, was exhausted. He'd been running all day. He didn't have anything to eat. He was muddy and dirty. And people sometimes got really close to catching him. And he was starting to worry what would happen if they caught him instead of Mrs. Owl. But he went back the next day as well. And the day after that, and the day after that, for six days, every morning, he was there at the field, he ran out of the field, and he led the people on a wild mouse deer chase. Until on the sixth day, when he returned to check on Mrs. Owl in the evening, very tired and exhausted, and he was ready to say, Mrs. Owl, I don't know how much longer I can do this. I don't know if I can help you anymore. I've been doing all I can to give you a chance, to give your little ones a chance, but I'm so tired. But before he opened his mouth, he looked and there was Mrs. Owl alone. Mrs. Owl, where are your little ones? What happened? I've been trying to keep the people away all day. Did, did, did something go wrong? No, 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 said Mrs. Owl. Everything is fine, Mouse Deer. My little ones have been watching you for six days. They've seen your bravery. They've seen you never giving up. They saw all that you did to keep us safe. They were watching you. They were paying attention and they admired you so much that they started practicing with their little wings earlier and they got stronger and stronger every day and they learned to fly faster than any other outlet ever before. It's because of you, Concho. It's because they saw you doing everything you could to help us. That inspired my children to do the same. So now they are safe back in the forest and I'm going there too. I just wanted to wait and see you and tell you, thank you so much for saving me and my children. And Mouse Deer that night went home and he was exhausted, but he was very, very proud. And he told his wife what happened. The next day they went to visit the Owl family and they have been the best of friends ever since. <laughs>